It was at home during the pandemic where Amy Shank learned to juggle. It was near impossible to do it all and cried a lot. <laughs> As both teacher and parent, she struggled to ensure her students were thriving, but also had the double duty of making sure her own children remain engaged. I was just trying to manage, figure out how to teach and be a parent and make sure they were doing, we were all doing what we were supposed to do. Shank says the lack of guidance from the school district was simply a symptom of the fact that online learning was new and that no one was sure how to adapt. I felt like I failed every day last year as a teacher because I sometimes would have 12 students on, sometimes I'd have three. Shank says for their protection, her school district didn't require students to keep their cameras on, but that had the added effect of letting students tune out. By like second and third quarter, they were just giving us like passing grades on everything because nobody was, there was like nobody getting it all done. Shank says her children were essentially being asked to manage their own education. And without face-to-face -face engagement, students were falling behind. Teachers feed off the energy of the kids in the room, and I didn't have that. Students like eight-year-old Kinsey Shank tried her best, but her mom says without active participation from parents at home, younger students in particular were at risk. There's some gaps that I did not see with my son when he was her age because he was in school. So we're, we're working on that. We have to do some extra supports this year to, to get her up to speed. All right, so the first thing that At the end of the day, Shank agrees there was learning that was lost in the classroom, but believes families should look at the silver lining. There's so much more that they did learn about the world and I was very frustrated that the emphasis was just on the learning loss and not on the things that they did gain. Shank says educators and parents should take some lessons from the pandemic and steer education priorities to where they need to go. If they don't, she says, kids may just wind up back at home again trying to get an education. For NC Impact, I'm Evan Howell.